Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. No, we are not opening upside down, I promise. I don't even know why I had it like that when we started. Anyway, though, welcome back. Time Spiral Remastered. Uh, box number three here. Question is, are we going to be doing more boxes or not? I have no idea. Probably, if I'm going to guess, we're going to be ending up switching to Strixhaven. And then, you know, probably later on is when we're going to go back to Time Spiral and do, you know... The, the overall, you know, what, where did it end up, like, after, you know, a, a good amount of time or whatever. Um, Aven and Delay are only only uh, uncommons we're looking for, though. Cloud Key, though, very strong, rare for the start. And Stinkweed, we'll take that. Uh, I think if I remember correct, Stinkweed was maybe, like, just barely over a dollar or something. Um, I might be wrong on that. Could have been changed by now. Hands down, though, love the product. Um, I will say though, the only cards that I feel like I'm really looking for at this point in this set, oh, the Ancient Den, is, uh, Living End. I know it's not expensive, but I, I do want that card. And then, um, Lotus Bloom. Um, again, not a, not an expensive card, but, um, it would be nice to have at least one copy of. Um, Lotus Bloom, just a rare, reiterate right there. And the prized owl, whatever. Uh, we, I feel like this, this is looking to me like the at least the rare wise and and the uh, time shifted wise. It's looking like a almost exactly like another box that we already opened. So hopefully we aren't going to be getting duplicates from that Vesuva. I mean, I, if I remember correct, I think that was in that box, but. I mean, Vesuva, I feel like, is one of those cards that you always got room for it in a deck. And value-wise, it's it's going to help us, for sure. Mythic-wise, it's one of the mythics we want to keep our value. Gray, though. And the Ecor Slick. Um, now, I have noticed the foil commons basically are not worth anything. Which I, I'm not surprised by. Um, we do get quite a few rares, I would say, in these boxes compared to... Oh, there we go. Nope. It wasn't wasn't what I thought it was. Um, we do get quite a few rares, but not Jeez Louise, Orbor, and Eternal Witness. Um, is this gonna be the box? That's the question. <laughs> is is this gonna be the box? If we can get a foil time shifted card, uh, you know something juicy, something juicy, then this could be this could be the box. Thick. Myra Ober. And Jaya, probably maybe like 50 cents or something. And Corsair Crufix. I'm actually surprised that Corsair Crufix. Didn't they uh, decide to finally unban Corsair and Commander? Um, which they banned them and Commander because it was busted and then they unbanned it? I don't know. Vincer, though, plenty of copies. Anybody need a playset? Because I am willing to get rid of some. And Bajuka Bog. And the Necrotic Sliver. Um, probably, if I'm going to guess, it is uncommon and foil and sliver. So it's probably going to be over a dollar. I'm just guessing though. I don't know 100%. Okay. Still no uncommon. Uh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Delay. And Caravac, uh Just, you know, maybe a couple bucks there. And Tremor Battle Rage. Did anybody else, uh, uh, on, on, the, on the way of uh, Strixhaven, we'll start with that. Did anybody else uh, do their, their college, uh, you know, to see which college they should go into? Um, I did mine. Uh, I do not remember the name of it. I think it was something whole, but it was the, the red-white one. Curious, did anybody else get into the same college as me? I'm, I'm just curious. Second thing, oh, Harmonize. And Swarm Yard. Arcades, there we go, finally. Oh, Path to Exile, okay. Um, first off, that foil looks better than all the other foils I opened. Second thing, Path to Exile foil, we're probably looking at a pretty, a pretty nice penny right there, if I'm gonna guess. Don't know 100%, but I'm gonna guess this is this is a, one of those cards that I think that is gonna make our box value probably about half 
to maybe a little bit more than half of the box value. So we're we're gonna I, I pretty much say between Path to Exile and Vesuva, and you know our rare so far, I, we're probably approaching pretty close to our box value, and everything else is gonna be gravy on top. I'm guessing that. I don't know 100%. We're gonna see whenever I do the post editing. Solemn Simulacrum though, holy crap! I <laughs> I think this is the box. I really think this is the box. Now. If I could get a moment to breathe and and uh, and say what I was gonna say next after the that, assuming we're not gonna be keeping getting some more stuff here, lingering souls there though, and sunlands. Um, did anybody hear about what they're planning on doing secret layer? I'm assuming that you'll have, but um, in case you haven't, in case you haven't, wizards uh, they sent out a they sent out a uh, questionnaire kind of thing, a little survey, and they they you know sent me an email and said, hey hey uh, Zach, you know, we noticed you've bought secret layers in the past, and we're curious if you'd do the survey for us. Sent it to my email. I was like, sure. I wonder, I'm I'm my you got have my curiosity right now. I pull it up, a chroma. There we go. Uh, not very expensive though, unfortunately, and mortify. So I pull it up. And realize the survey, they're looking into doing a subscription for Secret Layer, and I'm I'm sitting there thinking, uh, I don't like how this is going. You know, I'm, I don't know. I'm going through the survey, finding out they want to charge a hundred dollars. Oh, Heatron Archive. Okay, uh, that might be something. They want to charge a hundred dollars, and uh, basically they're going to automatically send you the Secret Layer every month. You don't have to worry about purchasing it. I don't know if it's like if they do more than one a month, it, how that works, or they only do one a month, uh, you only get one, whatever the heck it is, but you're paying $100 a month, or $100 a year, I'm sorry, $100 a year to do that. Now the other option that they were looking into was $199, they'll just cut $200 uh, for a year, and instead of, instead of, you know, getting it auto bought for you and auto shipped and everything angels grace there we go um what they want to do is give 10 percent discount on all secret layers that you're gonna buy and then uh with both of them you're gonna be getting priority processing meaning you're gonna be first in line meaning you're probably gonna be getting your stuff and not have to wait three three years uh in order for it to actually show up at your house dry it over there um and then also they want to do four exclusive secret layers a year um, and you have to subscribe to either one of those in order to actually get the uh, to purchase the exclusive kind of secret layer stuff I don't know do I like it do I hate it I'm kind of on the fence right now I think it depends on where where they end up with actually doing it because again this is a survey it's not really confirmed but I think that at least based off the survey, it seems like they kind of want to do both as an option. Um, but I am very concerned about um, the value of secret layers in the like short term and long term. If if they choose to do the ten percent discount one, um, the reason why is you know a lot of people are ready like to buy the secret layers or flip them, and then if you're just you know making it easier for them to make more profit, then they're going to be buying more. They're going to be flipping more. Um, I don't know. There, it could it could over flood the market. I feel like, um, and then I feel like there's already been a couple secret layers that kind of had just been meh. And I feel like if you know you get the meh ones and you're selling them at 10% discount, you're just going to destroy the value form already. I mean that that's the way that I look at it. Um, but I would be very curious to see like. First off, did you hear about it? If you didn't, well, now you did. And second thing, uh, what is, I'm curious what, what y'all's opinion is on it because, I mean, I I wouldn't consider myself like a professional knowing value of magic and everything like that. Uh, I just play the game for fun, you know, open boxes, yada yada. But I don't know. I mean, to me, you know, I've, I've seen trends and, and whatnot. Again, I'm not... I'm not saying I'm either or, 
but it just seems like to me that there could be the possibility of you know that that kind of thing happening um i'm i'm again i'm just curious like what everybody else thinks i mean i i have i will admit i have always loved the secret layer um there i think there's maybe been like one or two that i haven't bought or like you know maybe one that was too expensive for me or something like that but i don't know i really do not know see if we can pick it up just a little bit here a hey, pact of negation there we go i think that's the first one we've actually gotten and the treasure screw The other thing, I guess I didn't really look at before I started opening this, is what are the box values at? I feel like the, the cards kind of have gone down in value. At least what it looked like to me. Path of Exile there, though. Um, it looks like that they have gone down to me. Doesn't mean that they're going to, you know, not go back up or anything, but at least short-term wise, it does look like maybe the cards has gone down in value, so maybe the boxes have gone down in value, but I feel like people probably are not going to be letting go of these for anything less than, you know, probably about... I'm thinking like 270, 280. Like I feel like that's a that's a pretty strong number. It seems like to me, based off of the, based off of what we're what we're getting in this uh, box, as well as you know the previous two that we've gotten, I feel like that that that's definitely a strong price price point, not price point. To vary though, and a distasteful stroke. Oh, there we go. Delay. Yes, there was a little bit of delay in me reading the card. Stuffy doll, though. And the hollowed one with the prismatic lens foil. We're near, you know, I'd say we're, we're pretty close to getting to the end of the video. Um, if you made it this far, thank you so much for your support. Much appreciated. Um, and uh, if you want to support the channel, I think you know how. I think you know how. And we'll, all ju we'll, we'll just say it at that, you know. I'll just say, hey, you know, just the, just a little in your ear. Dee, 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 dee. Hey, hey, you want to support me? You want to support me? Thank you very much. Oh! Okay, we got two. We got two foil time shifted cards. Um, I knew it was supposed to be possible. Didn't think we were going to actually get it, though. Uh, evolutionary leap, though. I feel like, I feel like between Evolutionary Leap and, you know, Path to Exile, I'm, I'm, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that those two alone probably paid for the entire box. Again, I could be wrong, I'm just guessing on this. Slaughter Pact and the Monastery Swift. I mean, I think, I think it's possible um, if we can get another rare that's, or I mean, another mythic that's, you know in the top top three or four i would i would feel comfortable saying that this was a god box that, that that's no ifs ands or buts to me we've gotten a lot of good rares we've gotten you know a lot of i'd say mid-range on the uh time shifted cards list honestly if you're getting all mid-range there ain't nothing wrong with that um i mean dear god i mean that that's all i can say that's all i can say Come on, salt blast. The pet petroglyphs, the secret plans, and temporal isolation. I would say the only thing that I think we kind of did a swing and a miss on is probably the foil rare. Um, I don't know the price 100%, but I'm just guessing it's probably not, probably not what we want for the foil rare slot. Come on, come on. Tolarian West. Okay, we'll take that. And the vampire. Hex Mage. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a very good rest of your day and stay awesome.